Well, friends, I'm under the uh, awning or whatever the roof here at the parsonage because it's raining again. Lo and behold, hey, friends, whatever, it doesn't matter. Here's our devotion for today uh, from the Covenant Home Altar uh, for today, Friday, da -da 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 -da, May 3rd, May 12th, May 10th, 2024. Uh, I'm Pastor Jim, Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors right there, Christ Covenant Church. We invite you to join us, and we invite you to invite others to join us. Hey, just a little note, um, you know, we're going to have the outdoor worship sometime soon, probably one of the first weeks in June. Uh, that's still getting figured out logistically. But uh, look at the garden, it's starting to crank out here as well. The Stelladoros, the Hostas, the different things. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing. Our writer today is somebody that I've known for a bunch of years. My first uh, pastorate out of seminary was at First Covenant Church in Jamestown, New York. And the author for this week is Helen Peterson from First Covenant. She grew up there, has been a member there her whole life, teaches adult Sunday school now. She was a teacher. Helen Ann is a wonderful, wonderful person. And she writes uh, for us today uh, from John 15, 14 and 15 titled The Blessing of Friends. We talked about this uh, text in, in, in worship last, last Sunday, but uh, you'll rec recognize it. The Blessing of Friends. In this chapter, Jesus begins a farewell message to his disciples. He could have called them students or pupils. Often they were slow learners. Uh, he could have called them his colleagues, those who worked with him. He could have addressed them as family in many ways, they are closer to him than his own family. Instead, Jesus calls them friends. We talked about that on Sunday. What a beautiful word that is, friends. I have a wonderful family, all of whom live far away. It is my friends who provide help in many ways when I need it. It is with close friends that we most often share our joys and our sorrows. Friends, listen to us, encourage us, console us, correct, rejoice, and pray with us. That's the relationship Jesus had with his disciples and the relationship he longs to have with us. And isn't that true? Jesus doesn't call us slaves or servants anymore, but he calls us friends. And uh, hey, going back to the begin very beginning of the uh, Covenant Church in Sweden, they were known as Missionsvenner, Mission Friends, Friends in Mission. So uh, I'm going to pray and uh, what Helen writes, and then I'm going to continue in prayer. Helen writes, thank you, Jesus, that you are both Lord of my life and also my friend. Thanks, too, for those friends who walk with me in this life of faith. And God, we continue praying, saying thank you, God, uh, for the friends that we have, that you are, of course, friend. You call us friend, too. Sometimes, you know, in life, we think someone is a friend. We call them a friend, but then they don't really consider us friends. Uh, 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 that's not how it is here. You are the one that initiated this friend relationship, and we come to you as friends as well. So, God, thank you for that. Thank you that we can be friends to others, and God, help us to do that, to extend love, to extend friendship to others, so that they might accept that invitation when we say, hey, would you like to come join me today uh, for this thing at church, or this time of worship, or this event? God, help us to always be developing those friendships with the eye of being a friend but also of uh, bringing someone, helping someone come to faith or strengthening their faith and becoming part of our faith community here at Christ Covenant Church. God, uh, we're praying for a number of things today. People that are part of our faith fellowship and friends here at church. God, we lift up Tom and Nan Pasarina. Tom's brother Mike passed away, and we pray for uh, his wife Barbara and their family. We continue to pray for Karen Nuss's mom, Marilyn, who is now at home. And God, there's a whole wonderful story behind that. Thank you for your work there. God, we give you thanks for uh, the care that Carolyn Lair has been getting at Grandview Hospital this week. She fell earlier in the week and things are hopefully, she's hopefully going home today. God, we give you thanks for the life of a longtime member and friend of our congregation, friend to so many, Nancy Jenkins, whose funeral will be tomorrow at Peter Becker. And God, we give you thanks and pray uh, for the uh, family of Dave Williams, friend to so many 
wonderful Christian, father, husband, son. God, thank you for Dave. It's Dave's funeral tomorrow as well. Uh, more about that in a little bit. But God, we pray for special comfort for Emily and for Abby and Mike, and also for Charlotte uh, and Dave's dad, Dave as well. Thank you that we can pray to you, our friend, and that you can provide comfort and consolation. God, we give you thanks for so many things that I could pray for an hour, but I'm not going to. But we do give you thanks for all things, praying in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, just a note or two, okay? Of course, Sunday school at 9 o'clock on Sunday, worship at 1030. Come and join us. Come and join us. And uh, again, uh, the uh, funeral service for Nancy Jenkins is at Peter Becker tomorrow. Uh, here at church is the service for Dave Williams, visitation at 930, service at noon. I'm sorry, service at 11, service at 11, service at 11, and a luncheon to follow at the Williams' house. Uh, continue to pray for that family right now, God. And also remember that if neither of those things fit into your life, contact Harvey and Jody Scribner. It's Eric's work day for his Eagle Scout uh, project tomorrow as well. Friends, it's a kind of a eh, day. Remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. And remember that Jesus is our friend and he calls us friend. With that, be encouraged. And with that, be blessed and be a blessing.